Oh hey, it's Wes, and I just got a new S-bracket from Pure Gear. No big deal, let's see what we've got in here. What's this LED panel doing inside that box? But seriously, I wasn't planning on making a video about the new S bracket because it's just a flash bracket. Until I opened the box and discovered that this new S bracket is quite a bit nicer than the old one in so many ways. Let's get into it. Number one, the biggest and most noticeable change is just the arm on the bracket itself. It'll look very familiar. Almost the same as the arm on my 8600 Pro. You have a continuous clamp that will allow you to clamp down the arm in any position very firmly. You have the 8600 Pro style umbrella holder, which doesn't wrench it into place. I usually just use an elastic if it's windy but I like that better because it's longer, less strain on the arm. And again, did I mention this is all metal? This is super solid. The old one, by comparison, had this plastic ratchet that only got into so many positions and was hard to move, and even when you did clamp it down, wasn't super sturdy. This one, super sturdy. And then, what everyone was looking for is the new, more configurable mounting area for the flashes. As you can see inside this mounting area, we have an insert. And this insert can be reconfigured to multiple different sizes. So if we start with the insert in, we're looking at something very familiar here. It's pretty much the same hole that was already in the S bracket, and that will give you the option of putting in a regular flash like the V860 or the TT685 or any of your Canon, Nikon, or Sony flashes. Additionally, the hole is already sized to expand, unlike the first generation of the S bracket, to fit an 8200 or 8200 Pro. Which got me thinking, what else can we put in this? Well, it's what everyone else was waiting for. Let's make it circular. And we're going to insert the new V1 flash. And finally, we can use the V1 in a Bowen softbox. Well, why stop there? There's also the option of putting the round head 8200 in here, but I wouldn't suggest exactly doing it like that. This might give you a better light dispersion pattern, but I wouldn't put that much weight on the front of the round head itself. I would sooner still slide it in this way to keep the weight off of the mechanical connection between the round head and the body, but I'll leave that up to you. Um, so we got that, we got this. Um, what else can we put in here? Let's uh, slide this guy back in. And... Yep, it holds two old bananas. So, if you were holding out for that, you've got that functionality. Um, now if we pull the bracket back out again, we can... Uh, yep, confirmed it will hold a dinosaur. And of course, the question that everyone is waiting for, finally, Godox will hold your beer. Oh, and one last thing, it will, with everything widened out and taken out, this will actually hold an 8400 Pro. That's pretty cool. So, there you have it, they gave you all the options. This thing is more robust. The plastic is thicker and denser and stronger. It's more metal, even the detent point on this guy is much more robust. You see that big metal post that comes out there? Used to be just a stinky little thing here. Everything about this bracket has been massively upgraded and it is phenomenal. Now, it's not just the cheapy thing that it used to be, but this is now what I would call Kind of a professional tool. I wouldn't worry about my softbox snapping off and falling off of this thing anymore. This thing's pretty great. I'll let you know in the future if anything goes wrong with this after some long-term hard usage, but I'm pretty confident that uh, not only will this keep holding my beer, but it'll keep holding my flashes. So, until next time, I guess I don't need that. Go take some photos. <laughs>